Since 2007, over 1,400 human trafficking cases have been identified in North Carolina alone. In many of these cases, the police were contacted at some point in order to help look into the case. My name is Blair Watts and I am working with Dr. Bethany Davidson to research how prevention training programs can combat communication barriers between human trafficking victims and law enforcement officers in North Carolina. Our first goal was to identify the significant communication barriers between law enforcement and human trafficking victims in North Carolina. A barrier is an issue that either a victim, officer, or both are facing that makes it harder to receive or provide help. Our second goal was to identify the human trafficking prevention programs currently available in North Carolina. A prevention program consists of methods that seek to reduce problems, protect the current state of well-being, or promote desired outcomes. Finally, our last goal was to identify the level and source of human trafficking knowledge for North Carolina law enforcement officers. Prevention training programs are a less complex way of preventing trafficking compared to other methods, such as having new laws approved. Figure one shows how officers first learned of trafficking with training and conferences, which qualify as prevention programs, coming in second place. A literature review identified lack of trust, lack of adequate resources or services, and cultural or language differences to be the most significant communication barriers between human trafficking victims and law enforcement. Figure two shows how many times each barrier was identified throughout the literature review. 18 prevention programs in North Carolina were identified, majority of which seek to educate officers on what trafficking is, but do not target any of the significant barriers. Our pilot survey that was distributed to law enforcement officers throughout North Carolina showed that while all participants believed that law enforcement had an important role in preventing human trafficking, only 50% of officers have received any human trafficking prevention training. In the future, we will revise our pilot survey, relaunch it, and begin working towards publication. Thank you.